Hey guys, it's Zach coming to you from sunny Florida and a not so sunny hotel room to tell you all about Lee Strasberg. Yes, you heard it here first. So, Lee Strasberg was born in Austria, Poland, as the youngest of three sons. Uh, now, his father emigrated to New York while his family had to uh, remain in their home village with an uncle. His father, who worked as a presser in the garment industry, uh, sent first for his eldest son and his daughter. And finally, you know, he got enough money around to uh, bring over his wife and the remaining two sons. So in 1909, the family was finally reunited in Manhattan's Lower East Side, where they lived until the early 20s. A uh, relative introduced Lee to the theater by giving him a small part in a Yiddish language production being performed by the Progressive Drama Club. Seemingly after this, he fell in love because he then went on to join the Christie Street Settlement Houses Drama Club. Uh, Philip Loeb, casting director of the Theater Guild, sensed that Strasbourg could act, although he was not yet thinking of a full-time acting career. Uh, when he was 23 years old, he enrolled in the Claire Tree Major School of the Theater. And then, in 1923, he attended a performance directed by none other than Stanislavski during the Moscow Art Theater's American Tour. Uh, Stanislavski's work influenced Strasbourg's entire career. He started working as a stage director for the Moscow Art Theater and soon moved on to acting, uh, though not for very long. He retired from the stage in 1929. He went on to make his own dramatic organization, the Group Theater, in 1931. Uh, by 1948, Strasbourg had joined the Actors Studio as a teacher. So he went right from acting to directing and then became a teacher. Uh, the studio, uh, the Actors Studio, had been founded the previous year by Elia Kazan. Uh, Cheryl Crawford, and Robert Lewis. Its aim was to provide theatrical professionals, actors, directors, and playwrights with the opportunity for creative exploration and growth. Strasberg became famous for his approach to acting, which drew from Stanislavski's techniques. Strasberg asked his students to engage in what is known as method acting. Uh, this idea was first called The System by Konstantin Stanislavski, and later as further developed by Lee Strasberg at the group theater, uh, the Lee Strasberg Method. Patent pending. Now, his actor's studio workshop produced a great number of professional actors. Over the years, they were uh, very successful in really cultivating the entirety of the acting careers and the playwrights and directors and just really letting creativity grow. Uh, some of their famous alum are including Al Pacino, uh, Julie Harris, Paul Newman, and Marilyn Monroe. Uh, the latter even so much that uh, Strasberg performed the eulogy during Marilyn Monroe's funeral after she passed. Now, Lee Strasberg was very famously renowned for being incredibly strict. In fact, Elia Kazan, who studied under Lee, had this to say about the process. And I quote, he carried with him the aura of a prophet, a magician, a witch doctor, a psychoanalyst, and a feared father of a Jewish home. He was the center of the camp's activities that summer, the core of the vortex. Everything in camp revolved around him, preparing to direct the play that was to open the coming season, as he had the three plays of the season before. He would also give the basic instruction in acting, laying down the principles of the art by which the group worked. He was the guide to their artistic training. He was the force that held the 30-odd members of the theater together, made them permanent. He did this not only by a superior knowledge, but by the threat of his anger. He enjoyed his eminence just as the admiral would. Actors are as self-favoring as the rest of humanity, and perhaps the only way they could be held together to do their work properly was by the threat of an authority they respected and feared. No one questioned his dominance. He spoke holy writ, his leading role in that summer's activities, and his right to all power. To win his favor became everyone's goal. His explosions of temper maintained the discipline of this camp of high-strung people. So if he were alive today, spoiler alert for the end of the video, and watching this, he would constantly be on the lookout for things that really irked him. Things like 
the actor not living in the moment, the actor not believing in the character. Uh, even as far as directing goes, he would hate things like continuity errors or even being too lenient with the actors. But he must have been doing something right, uh, as there were multiple people that said the actor's studio became one of the most prestigious institutions in the world as a result of its desire to set a higher standard in acting. Uh, it was to the point where Jack Nicholson auditioned five times before he was ac accepted, Dustin Hoffman six times, and after each rejection, a candidate had to wait as long as a year to try again. Uh, there was even a year that only two students were admitted out of a 2,000 total candidates who auditioned. This was rigorous, it was strict, it was the Lee Strasberg way. Which brings me rather neatly back to the subject of method acting, a way of acting that trained the actors to use their imagination, their senses, and emotions to conceive characters with unique and original behavior, creating performances grounded in the human truth of the moment, uh, Strasberg once said. The real secret to method acting, which is as old as the theater itself, is creating reality. That is tremendously difficult. Some actors think behaving casually is the same thing. This was the method that he preached. It was connecting on the most base level with your character or with events from your past that could tie you into the character. He even went as far as to say things like, the character that you play has already been born. They've already been raised. What you are playing is the zenith of their life. It is the climax of their experience as a human being. They, he wanted you to connect not only with the present of the character, but the past and even sometimes the future. And now it's hard to hear the words method acting without thinking about certain actors in the current day. Uh, actors like Daniel Day-Lewis who have been reported going uh, months without bathing to make sure they felt authentic for a role, or there was a time that supposedly he was in a wheelchair and forced everyone to push him around and lift him and spoon feed him um, just so he could feel what it was like to live in that moment. Uh, this is not what the Lee Strasberg method is. That is not his form of method acting. In fact, a quick little Google search even found me a school in New York that still teaches Strasbourg method acting. Uh, and they say, if one listens to either its critics or supporters, method acting is described as a form of acting where the actor mystically becomes the character, or tries to somehow literally live the character in life. Like all cliches, both explanations are false. Uh, Lee Strasberg defined what is popularly known as method acting as method acting is what all actors have always done whenever they acted well. Uh, they go on to say that what he meant is acting and method acting is nothing new, but rather as old as Western civilization itself. Uh, they go on to explain exactly what the core of his method acting is and the Lee Strasberg method. And at the end, they claim, they are the only school in the world that teaches Lee Strasberg's work in its consummate form. Uh, they are stressing the fact that no one else teaches method acting the way that Lee Strasberg committed to it, and because of that, they aren't truly teaching his form of method acting. And in that same little Google search, you can find another school that claims very much of the same thing. Uh, they are teaching the true form of method acting. So maybe not the Lee Strasberg method, they are saying that they have refined his techniques into new forms of method acting. So unfortunately at this time it's kind of hard to tell what is the real accepted definition of method acting. Uh, there is a lot of verbiage out there, a lot of literature seemingly that speaks of being refined from Stanislavski through Lee Strasberg and on and on. But despite what might seem like arguments on what is or isn't method acting, it's almost impossible to say that Lee Strasberg wasn't an immense figure in the world of acting and in the world of theater. Uh, in fact, he was elected to the American Theater Hall of Fame, uh, something that he was officially notified of the day before his death, which is a nice little silver lining on that. And that concludes everything I now know about Lee Strasberg, something that 
you hopefully now know as well. I do apologize for the guitar and singing in the background. I could not avoid it no matter how hard I tried. Uh, thank you for watching, and uh, I just got one more thing to take care of. SHUT UP!